Hello friends, welcome to Synapse video tutorials and previous session we just introduced to Synapse and the types of distributions like there are a few types of distributions like hash distribution, round robin and broadcast so broadcast you can call it as a replicate distribution and based on your requirement you can choose these three types of distributions uh, primarily when you are storing data temporarily purpose or staging purpose we can go with the round robin and when you are storing historical data which may be SED type to our fact tables which is having more than uh, 60 million records then you can go with hash distribution so when you are choosing hash distribution you need a column to distribute data so based on that hash key column it will distribute into 60 distributions then when whenever you have a small data like dimension tables less than 1 GB then you can go with broadcast that is replicate distribution so first we'll understand hash distribution uh, what is hash distribution and how to create a hash distribution table in synapse so as of now uh, I don't have any tables in my synapse warehouse just we'll try to create one hash uh, distribution table so I have a list of sales table where I have created with, uh, hash so primarily fact tables have created for hash distribution let's copy this okay so look at this this is the some cost transaction fact table and whenever you are creating a table in synapse SQL so you need to specify with and the distribution type so distribution equal to hash so when you are specifying distribution hash you need to specify particular column and then any index maybe clustered index or cluster and column store index I will give you more about index types in the next come upcoming sessions upcoming videos first we'll understand hash distribution so if I create this table if I create this table it will be created as hash distribution it will be created as hash distribution there you can see this just refresh just only with then distribution type specify that then that table will be created as hash distribution and particular column so what you can do whichever frequently filtered column in reporting side you can choose that column and then go with the distribution then you can see the table right click and verify the DDL yes it's generating a DDL wait it's loading yeah now you can see the table is created and distribution type is hash and one of the column key column I just have given that so how it will distribute and how it will process means based on hash function so based on hash function whatever you are giving a column input column data then it will split and it will store into 60 databases means 60 distributions based on your hash function then number of nodes anyway as i told you based on your configuration number of nodes will be there based on data warehouse units so synapse is having data warehouse units based on data warehouse units you will get a number of nodes so one node 60 distribution two node 30 plus 30 like this so whenever you are inserting data into synapse sql first it will that records will split into based on hash function then it will store into distributions so you will have a 60 distribution 60 data warehouse distributions then maybe single node or multi node those your data will be stored that is called hash distribution huh? distributed so whenever you are querying also same thing will happen so whenever you are querying this data same thing so you will have a central node that central node will be communicated through your MPP server massively parallel processing server to all your uh, compute nodes so that compute node may be single or more than one if it is single all your 60 distribution will be their single node and it will be communicated to your storage so that storage uh, also is uh, not shareable so shareable means share nothing architecture and whenever you are st storing data also based on hash key it will distribute and store into 60 distributions 
okay 60 distributions that is called hash distribution then in next video we will discuss about round robin and replicate so whenever you are creating a table the default will be round robin then next replicate so replicate you can call it as a broadcast we will discuss in another video so thank you for watching my videos if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel thank you very much